52 weeks left in the year. Mayor Mitch Landrieu looked back at the dollars and cents of 2016. WDSC reporter Jennifer Crockett is uptown with what the numbers say about this city. Mayor Mitch Landrieu counting down 2016 by counting up the economic wins for the city. And we're sending the message across America that New Orleans is open for business. He says property values are up 14% over 2015, and the city is on track to take in record-breaking sales tax revenue this year, it's projecting a haul over the $210 million it took in last year. Jobs also on the rise. Uh, this year alone, the unemployment rate dropped from 6.7% to 5.8%. Uh, we decreased the African-American non uh, male non-employment rate from 52% to 44%, which is the fastest decrease uh, anywhere in America. But for some small businesses, the road to progress has been bumpy. The city entering a cooperative agreement with the local nonprofit Stay Local in 2016 to highlight small business needs in corridors where drainage work is having an impact on sales. That is a huge deterrent and not good for business. A few blocks from the brunt of that work on Magazine Street at Jefferson, the owner of Zale a local art market says sales for her are good. We house over 100 different local artists, uh, local artists, entrepreneurs and inventors, and this serves as a storefront for them to get their wares and creations out there. That's what makes New Orleans unique. Other cities are trying to invent being cool, we are cool, and that's what's drawing people here. Mayor Landrieu also talking about economic booms that will carry over into 2017, including the expansions going on at the airport and capitalizing on the new VA hospital. Reporting on Magazine Street, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.